Hello again. Web 2.0 websites are simply sites that rely on user-generated content. There's nothing fancy about them. They simply allow users to contribute value to the website and to your reader's experience. It's only been the last few years that these types of sites have really started to develop and take off like wildfire. It's next to impossible to find someone who hasn't heard of MySpace or Facebook, and innovative sites like Twitter and LinkedIn are popping up all the time. But how can you use them for traffic? Well, that's what we're about to teach you. Now, no lesson about generating traffic online would be complete without a discussion about MySpace. This is a huge social site and you can leverage it to get a lot of free traffic to your site. First, you're going to need your own account to get started, so you can go through that sign-up process directly through MySpace. Immediately after that, you'll automatically have your own personal space on there. This is where you'll collect friends who are interested in the same things that you are. The best thing about this is that you'll be building a whole new list of friends or a network that you already know is interested in whatever your niche is. So as you proceed with this and continue to utilize the search features, these new friends are most likely to frequently visit your own personal space that will continue to link them to your website. And that's basically how it works. Now another important benefit to this type of marketing would be search engine ranking. By placing blogs directly on your personal space that contain your link, you'll also be able to generate backlinks so that you're ranked higher in the search engines. Our video on article marketing goes over how backlinks and search engines work. With all of these social sites that we go over, just remember that it's all about the interaction with others. And you'll also need to be sure that you do follow their specific terms and conditions. Now, with Facebook, it's very similar to MySpace, but has some different distinctions that you'll want to know about. You'll be able to make friends, put up new blogs, and use the Updates section to point out any recent changes to your site or business in general. You'll also be able to create groups that are particularly related to your niche. Don't forget to place your link and company information right in your profile so that as many people as possible have the opportunity to view it. Facebook has a variety of add-ons available that have been developed by independent programmers. These are just little features that can go a long way. For one example, you can actually send your friends small digital gifts, which may give them the extra enticement to visit your site and become a repeat customer. Okay, Blogger.com is a free blogging platform that is actually owned by Google. One strategy would be to set up a Blogger page as your main website. It's quick and easy. Another strategy would be to set up a blogger page as a method to get links to your main website. So either way, if you're just starting out and you don't have a site set up, there you go. Or if you already have a site, build a blogger page to help to further that. Wherever you stand right now, you have options to play with that'll fit right in perfectly. When you set up a blog with Blogger, it'll be created as a subdomain name on that blogspot.com domain. That means that you'll get all the link juice that comes from such an authority site such as Blogger, which is a great thing for you. Adding blogs to your blog page is similar to how you would add articles to an article directory. The upside is that you'll have more control and flexibility over your blog, but the downside is that you don't get the built-in article directory traffic. But that's okay. Remember diversification. The more blogs that you do add, the more likely you will to be found by other users and you're still improving your search engine rankings, remember. Now WordPress.com is another free blogging platform that should not be confused with WordPress.org, which is a self-hosted blogging application. WordPress.com will allow you to set up a blog as a subdomain on their own domain, so you will still be building your backlinks and increasing your search engine rankings. Just remember that with this site, they're a lot stricter about having things like affiliate links throughout your blog and being overly promotional. You shouldn't have to worry so long as you're offering that quality content in your blogs and links to your own personal site. So follow the guidelines, be smart, and you'll have the opportunity to gain all the benefits of this great option without being shut down.